Hello and welcome to the Halloween Horror Review Request Special. You guys voted, I think we got 19, 20 votes. Um, people who voted, and thank you. So here are the results. I'm going to read down every one of the amount of votes. Six cents, three votes. The Shiny, six votes. Psycho, two votes. Nightmare on Street, seven votes. Halloween, three votes. Scream, five votes. Ring, four votes. What did I write there? She, oh, Friday the 13th. Jesus. Looks like it said hello. Uh, the Ring, four votes. Friday the 13th, two votes. The Exorcist, five votes. And Evil Dead 2, six votes. So we had two, we had a bunch of front runners here. We actually had a close tie between two or three movies. So I had to decide between which ones I think would make better reviews. The one of all. In the first place, we have Nightmare on Elm Street with seven votes. Second place, Evil Dead 2 with six votes. And third place, The Shining with six votes. So, technically, there was a tie there. Lots of ties here. It was tough because we didn't really have a definitive second or third place. We had a lot of ties, a lot of, um, a lot, a lot of votes. Thank you for everyone who voted. It's the first thing I want to say, so thank you. So, the first one, Nightmare on Elm Street, probably my personal favorite. I don't think it's the scariest movie ever made. Definitely not, but it's definitely one of my favorites. I have the entire box set, um, from back when I was into horror movies a little more. I'm not as much anymore, but still. So, this is, like, it's... Pretty crabby case, but, you know, because it was in the big box set. It winds up, you see, like, part of his back that makes his body. It's kind of cool. Actually, you're missing another one. It's out there somewhere. So, anyway, it's a fantastic movie. Um, Wes Craven, he's one of the horror masters up there with Hitchcock, um, Carpenter. He's a fantastic horror director. I think he's one of the best around. And this movie is just so funny, but so creepy. Because Craddy cracks little funny jokes, but at the same time, you're like, dude, this guy's messed up. It is a fantastically creepy movie. It's fun to watch with, watch with a lot of people. You have to explain to them, though, like, it's trying to be funny at parts. It tries to be cheesy at parts. But some parts are just so creepy, like, your spine tingling. And the, the weirdest part about it, the, cool, the scariest part, is the fact that it's in your dreams, man. You can't escape falling asleep. It's so creepy, you can't really escape him because he's in your dreams. I mean, and that's what makes it so interesting is, like, it separates him from Jason and Michael, who are just a bunch of random people who go around during the day with a knife. This guy's in your dreams. And he's got one of, I like, burnt this thing, it's really old, but one of the coolest weapons ever in a horror movie. He's one of the most iconic characters. So yes. Eh? 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 For what it is, it's a horror movie. It's a perfect movie. Um, I actually can't give it any other rating than a 10 out of 10. It definitely deserves it um, as a horror classic. Um, I usually don't give horror movies high ratings like that, but this one definitely deserves it. Evil Dead 2. This movie's freaking awesome. One of the greatest horror movies of all time. It's hysterical messed up, it's funny, it's creepy, it's everything you could want in a movie. It has this action-y part too. It's the gore is so funny and so creepy. The fact that it's so bad and cheesy makes it so good. And Ash is one of the greatest movie badasses played by Bruce Campbell and he just does a fantastic job. I mean, what's cooler than a guy with a chainsaw on one of his arms replacing his hand with a shotgun on the other hand? It's a freaking awesome movie. Sam Raimi truly is one of the great horror directors. Um, I've said, that, I've said that about Wes Craven, too, but seriously, this guy, Dragon Hill is awesome, so definitely, if you have never seen that movie, you should definitely go check it out. I'll give that one a 10 out of 10. It deserves it. Uh, maybe it's more a 9 and a half. 9 and a half between 10, you know. So next, we have The Shining. The freaking Shining. The movie's awesome, alright? This is Stanley Kubrick. I mean, he's one of those crazy directors. Um, he's got a bad rep around, you know... Everybody thinks he's like a really perfectionist, but he, but I can see why he made such a good movie. The only bad part about The Shining is Shelley Duvall. Like, what is she? She's got a horse face, and she's such a terrible act. It's it's a fantastic movie. Uh, the Little Kid, the only other problem I have with that movie is just, I kind of get some of the, the close-up on the kids' faces going, like Macaulay Culkin from Home Alone. That's kind of what it reminds me of. This is one of those horror movies that's also um, a, it's a thriller, mystery suspense, but it's also one of those great movies that just classic, not just horror movie, but definitely a lot of other categories for just 
But that movie is one of the best ever made, and it's so creepy. Um, Jack Nicholson has a fantastic performance here. Definitely Oscar worthy. I don't know how he didn't even get a nomination for that. So yeah, I'll give a shining 10 out of 10 too. Generous to be for The Exorcist, because it was the post runner up for the third review. That movie is awesome. It's probably the movie that scares me every time I watch it. It's the only horror movie that consistently makes me want to poop my pants. Um, the head spinning, the effects for that time period is great. It has an amazing storyline. Well, the coolest, the creepiest musical score ever. It's like, oh god, it's so awesome. Um, and they're kind of hard to get confused with the Halloween one, but yeah, they do have a lot of differences. The uh, theme. But dang, that is an awesome movie. Um, Look, I think the girl's name's Linda Blair, who plays the, the, the daughter. She, uh, Reagan's creepy. Oh my god, the head spinning. Fantastic movie. The power of comp Christ compels you to watch that movie. It's awesome. Give yeah, that one a 10 out of 10. I'm on a 10 out of 10 web page. Well, you guys really picked some great movies, and I thank you all for voting. Um, uh, if any of you guys were at my blog TV show last night, it lasts like three hours. That was more... Uh, I, it wasn't as halloween as I liked, but this is... I'm sorry, it is not as... Halloween themed as I wish it could have been. I've been sick the last couple days and I'm leaving soon to go um, out. If you guys think trick or treating is gay, I'm not old and I'm not too old that I shouldn't be going trick or treating. But seriously, if you think it's gay, that's something mentally wrong with you. You need to dress up whatever the hell you want without anybody judging you. And you get free mother freaking candy. I said mother freaking because I don't know. But you get free candy. If you don't like that, what's wrong with you? So thank you guys. I'm sorry it's not as Halloween-ish as you like. Um, I said I haven't felt all that good. So thank you for watching the vote. Thanks all who watched and vote. Um, I really hope we do this again next year. Maybe it'll be a little cooler because I'll hopefully be feeling better by next year. So thank you. Have a happy Halloween. Get some candy. Party on. Whatever. Peace out.